man check this thing out i just kind of got this one put together it hasn't uh went in the air yet or a test flight or any not even hung test yet so anyways what's different about this guy is i put the rotron rotary engine on it uh 40 horsepower liquid cooled so a totally interesting sounding beast let me tell you she sounds freaking awesome and that is a 125 yeah 125 centimeter prop on it that's special made from helix um but this cage you can actually go up to uh, a 140 and i have another cage coming that'll fit on it that takes uh, where you can put a 150 prop on it the thing would be sick at that point but yeah look at this beauty just taking i just love the shine of uh, a nice all polished frame all polished stainless steel um the axles are uh, 7075 that uh, also act as uh, like a torsion axle so it flexes really nice without bending nice little spring to it um this one is extended so for the taller guys this would be a perfect trike uh it is four inches longer than the standard in the chassis so if you got longer legs or taller this would be the one for you up front it's got all cnc aluminum cradles and brackets um even the front side where it's cnc aluminum for the foot pegs can be removed taken off if you don't want them up there and you want to fly solo you can easily transform this trike into a tandem trike by just adding another harness in the front um, the reason it's got your legs spread out so far um, in the front side is because when you do have a harness in the front you got to take them and put your legs around the harness and it definitely helps with having your feet out in the uh, wider stance like it is so anyways uh if there's any questions that you have definitely reach out to me and i'd be more than happy to answer any questions that you have a little walk around zeus is zeus approved zeus loves the condor trike it's his favorite 18 liter fuel tank um so yeah you can uh, put plenty of fuel in it go for a nice long flight but uh anyways this is a quick walk around of the condor l extended chassis and uh, standard cage hoop uh, to fit a 140 prop uh, so yeah it's a uh, i love it especially when the sun's hitting it like it is the way it just shines off of it but there again yeah I'm sure there's questions or something. If you have them, please reach out to me. Um, the cool thing about this Condor, pretty much any engine that has mounting, let me show you, mounting out the back side. So as long as it mounts to the back, you can see it's totally adjustable. You got this bracket right here that you can move up and down vertical. Uh, so you get the the two inch bars that are blank and you just drill them out to your uh, mounting holes and then you adjust it up and down to get the prop in the center and uh, yeah super easy pretty much any engine uh, will work on it I don't know of an engine that won't of course if it's mounting in the rear like that they do have for like the Rotex uh, style engines, uh, the Simonini uh, Victors and stuff like that. They do make the uh, brackets that uh, those engines fit on. So, and it's also more common in the XL uh, version of the Condor L. So it's a much larger trike. They have the XL, the XL Evo the evo being their newest style um it's got a unique look to it uh if you notice the uh, cage has got about a 10 degree pitch upwards so that way you're not blowing your wing on the ground when you crank it up so uh i just threw the one harness on the on the front or on the for the pilot 
you can put the reserve reserve goes in the bottom you can put that on the other side as well um, which in this configuration the throttles on this on the left sand left side so you would probably want to put your reserve on the right side on the other side which goes underneath the seat so it's not a big bulging reserve sticking out the side of your harness um, you do have other options on this one that you can do uh, this one don't have it but it is capable and that's foot throttle so if you wanted to put a foot throttle you can actually add a foot throttle to this one so uh, yeah i haven't uh i've flown only one one with foot throttle and it's uh definitely uh, out of my comfort zone but it was really cool um, and all i had in my hands was brake toggles uh that was uh, a whole different feel but yeah you can uh, do that you can add foot throttle to these things so uh, pretty cool um and again all stainless uh all the way back Except, and then the uh, the torsion axles are solid bars, 7075. The wheels are um, a plastic uh, nylon wheel with a high speed bearing pressed into them. Very nice fat footprint on them, so uh, they do have a really easy time going over the thicker sand or crazy terrain and that kind of stuff. On my trike, uh, I don't have it out, I'd show you, but you do have an option of rear suspension full suspension with the shocks um, and it's really cool you kind of this whole bar and this whole everything here is like an a arm on a car and it's got the shock absorber and um, that's what's on my personal trike freaking love it um, it's got a battery box or whatever you want to use this box down here for that's welded on you got different all these holes in it so it's got all kinds of mounting loops and you can put velcro straps whatever uh, me, I'm going to be putting the battery into it. So, uh, yeah, the uh, cage sections, they come out to break this down smaller. So, this right here actually slides out. This has got a, um, a cam screw in it. So, you got to pop the handle out like this, unscrew it, and then it slides out. With this guy in there, the cage flex is pretty much uh, non-existent. So... Anyways, uh, the bar uh, above your head, believe it or not, when you're flying, that is nowhere in your face. Um, you got this thing set at an angle, naturally, and when you come up off the ground, your front comes up higher, which puts that bar much higher. Um, second flight, you won't even notice it there. It is, uh, it is something that will not be in your way. So, two, uh, two things you can do, A, assist. That's what the little ears are for, hooking a assist up to it. I'm using it for an instrument panel. So I got my gauges mounted on this bar. It is Zeus. But um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much the, the walk around. So if there's anything that you need a picture of closer or something, holler at me. I'll be more than happy to hook you up. Um, Right here, we got the uh, line guides, and so they actually can fold in, get them out of the way, and they come out like this. I usually put them, keep them about like that when I'm taking off, something like this. But yeah, they're they're adjustable. Um, yeah, the netting. Oh yeah, really cool. You can actually remove this netting. You don't have all these big chunks of pieces of uh, metal hoop when you take them off. You don't have them connected together they're all kind of put on with these hooks so each one just goes around the hook when you tighten this down with the cam tightening um, piece this thing here you tighten it down and it man it pulls this net so tight it's not going to accidentally come off of those hooks it's uh, going to take quite a bit uh, but yeah all the way around it this whole net will actually remove go into the pocket of the harness all your cage sections are free to come out store them uh, for travel the bottom axles they come out you got these pins right here these pins you just pull and this axle slides out both sides 
So, uh, yeah. So, um, can't really think of anything else, so please, if there's something I miss, uh, reach out to me. Appreciate it. And um, I am the uh, one of the U.S. importers for these trikes um, at cloudbasedppg.com. And uh, you can go on there, configure the trike that you're looking for. Uh, the um, There's a couple things that I have not put on yet, but if there's anything that can be uh, modified, customized, all you got to do is talk to me, and I'll put the word out to the factory, and they're very good about accommodating on um, doing whatever you want for your trike. So if you could, uh, just reach out if you have any questions. Thanks a lot, guys. Be safe out there. Bye.